In this video tutorial, we're going to walk you through the process of installing the demonstration photo frames that you can download from the download section of our website. This will give you an idea how all of our photo frame packages work and how powerful working with photo frames really is and why really you don't want to work with anything but a photo frame for inserting your images into them because they really are an amazing feature here inside Photoshop Elements and one that a lot of people don't even use or really understand and we have some great videos in the tutorial section of our website that really go in depth on how photo frames work and, and why they're so powerful. So what we've done is we provided you a sample of 10 great photo frames from various collections so you can get an idea of how they work and, and how easy they are to work with. Now when you purchase any of our photo frame packages, they will come with an automated installer for your version of Photoshop Elements, as well as for what operating system you're working with. So with a Macintosh, there's only one, uh, one installer for uh, Photoshop Elements 8 and 9. There was no Photoshop Elements 7 on a Mac. Um, so if you're using 8 or 9 on a Mac, you'll have no problem using any of our photo frame packages. And on the PC, it'll work on 7, 8, or 9. In fact, technically the photo frames will even work in earlier versions. But basically we decided we're only going to support back to version 7. But the install process is going to be slightly different for XP users compared to Vista and Windows 7 users. So Vista and Windows 7, you have the same install instructions. But for Windows XP, it's slightly, slightly different. All right, so enough of that. Let's just get in so we can show you. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do when you go to through, through the installation process is simply close Photoshop Elements all together. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to close out Photoshop Elements. And on my desktop here, I have a folder of the zip file that I downloaded and extracted to the desktop of the sample frames. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to select all these PSD files and copy them to the clipboard. And then I'm going to open up a special directory. Now I have a shortcut link to that directory so we can just click and go. But I want to show you how to get there. So if you look up here in the address bar, for now of course we're using a Windows Vista machine. So this would be the same for both Vista and Windows 7 users. You're going to go to C, Program Data, Adobe, Photoshop Elements, 9, Photo Creations. So that is the path. So just go to your C drive, go to Program Files, et cetera, et cetera. Now, you may need to, when in, in Windows, you may need to go under the Folder and Search options here. And under the View option, and you should do this anyhow. Uh, I like this option right here, Show Hidden Files and Folders. And that will allow you to see your program data folder because sometimes that is actually hidden. Okay, so anyhow, this is where we want to go. See, Program Data, Adobe, Photoshop Elements 9, Photo Creations. Now, if you're using 7, it's going to be the same path, except it's going to say 7.0, or if you're using 8, it'll say 8.0. But that's where we want to go. And once you're in the Photo Creations folder, because we're working with our, our demo photo frames, we're going to come into our Frames folder, and then we're simply going to right click and choose paste and you see that those files are now copied over okay so now those files are in and that's really all we have to do if we close out close out of this now if we go back into Photoshop Elements 9 so we'll go ahead and restart that go into our editor I'll show you something, a fun little trick, um, a little bonus trick, if you will, um, that I was just, I was goofing around the other day, and I, I guess I just don't have enough things to do, and I, I kind of hacked Photoshop Elements a little bit, and I'll show you that hack here in just, just a minute. Uh, it's kind of funny. Um, my version of Photoshop Elements actually takes a little bit to open up, but once it does, there it is. Now, these new frames will appear eventually they're going to appear here in your content pane within Photoshop Elements and what we're going to actually do is we're just going to have to switch to kind of refresh this we just switch to a different we'll go to backgrounds or something and then when I come back to frames now we should see these new frames and they'll be should be right at the top of the list because of the way I have them named they should be right here 
uh, at the top. And there's 10 new frames here. So let's go ahead and create a new document. There's our new blank file. Now here's a little tip for you. If we look at our layers palette, currently we just have a background layer, right? If I come back into my content pane, if I click any one of these frames, let me just click on one. Watch what happens. It's kind of annoying. I think it, I think it is actually a little bit of a bug uh, inside Photoshop Elements, but you can see what what's happened here. If I go back over to my layers palette, you see now we don't have a background layer, and we do have a frame layer. So in other words, I could come in here and grab an image, and drag and drop it in, and it will automatically scale to fit my frame. So I mean, it is a frame layer. It's just too bad it gets rid of our background layer. It's kind of annoying. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just kind of restore this. And so we'll go layer, new, background from layer, and then we could delete our frame. If we create a blank layer first, and then we'll go back to our content pane, and then we select any one of these frames, then it doesn't do that. It maintains our background layer, and it just gives us where we can drag and drop our image into. And then, of course, we could scale the image to better fit or whatever we might want to do. So it's kind of annoying, but uh, anyhow, that's just a little tip when you're working with frames. Now, because we have this frame, what's, what's really interesting, and I think what's really exciting about these frames, is that we could click on any frame. Once we have one applied, we can click on any one and just try a different one. Okay, and then we can click inside. Now we'll have to scale our image to better fit to this frame. But it is kind of a neat feature that we could just click on any different uh, one of these frames and apply it to our image. And so we could just keep on going until we find one we like and say, oh, I like that one. And all of our frames work in that fashion. So it's pretty nifty stuff. The other thing that's nice about frames is that we can scale this frame and the image within does not distort. So see, no matter how big I make my frame, the image within always maintains uh, the proper proportions. So frame layers are just absolutely amazing uh, feature here inside Photoshop Elements um, that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of because they really are exciting. Now, if we want to add an additional frame to a layout, that's where we just use the drag and drop method. We can drag and drop a new frame onto the layout, and there is our new frame. And then we can, of course, we can drag and drop our image into the new frame. Okay, so that's just kind of the basics of working with those demo frames. So give them a try. They're super easy to install. Just make sure you find that correct directory. Drop your files in, and close Photoshop Elements. Reopen it. Remember to refresh, to switch to a different folder if you're on, if you left off, and then when you come back to frames, boom, there they'll be right there at the top for you to choose from. You can see I have a bunch of different frame packages installed, um, so that's why you see all these frames and you don't see all these frames in your version of Photoshop Elements. Now, what about this little tip I was going to show you? Well, this is just, if you want to uh, just be silly, really. Um, it is kind of fun though. If we go under the help menu and choose about Photoshop Elements, you'll notice under development and engineering, I'm number one in the Photoshop Elements uh, developing team. And of course, you know, I have nothing to do with developing Photoshop Elements, um, but I just thought it was fun to play with. And so I could show you um, if you, you know, for whatever reason, care, uh, you could actually go into your Photoshop Elements directory and let me just find it here for you. And let me just kind of resize this a little bit. Uh, I discovered when you come in here to uh, your Photoshop Elements directory. Now, I'm, I'm using a 64-bit system, so I'm going to go into Program Files, x86. If you're using a 30-bit system, it would be just Program Files, Adobe, Photoshop Elements 9, Required. There's a little Credits Text dialog here. And if you pull that up, all, all I did was just add my name to the list of everybody else. And there we go. 
So the next time you go and choose uh, help about Photoshop Elements, your name will be listed right next to all these other wonderful people who created the program. So for what it's worth, it's just kind of a fun little hack. Um, but at any rate, um, that's all I have for you. I'm working with the demonstration frames. Check them out. Uh, feel free to use them and take a look at the other frame packages that we offer. And we're going to be posting uh, some, some new uh, frame packages that are going to be a free download too. So we're working on all kinds of new free content. And we have some great paid for content, but we've got even more free content that we're going to be posting. So definitely check back in the download section from time to time because we've got some, some new things that we're going to be releasing for you. So thanks for watching.